I'm the president of the Writers Guild, Madison, and welcome to uh, today's picket in support of the Writers Guild of America. The principle of residuals, the principle that writers should be paid not just when they write, but also when their work is repeated on television, when it's uh, put on DVD, put on video cassettes, uh, and most importantly of all, put on the internet, which the uh, producers are resisting the idea of writers getting anything for. Uh, is because the reason why it's so important is because it's an index of authorship. Because if we don't get residuals, uh, then our relationship to what we do is exactly the same as the widget maker's relationship to the widget. Once it's produced, I, there isn't a relationship at all. Uh, and so I think the slogan of, of, of what we're doing today and what the writers are doing in America is, is keep creative, creative, support the Writers Guild of America. Thank you very much for coming here today and we support the Writers Guild of America in their struggle uh, for writers' rights and creativity now and in the future. Everybody, uh, Brendan Barber, General Secretary of the TUC, Yay. just wanted to welcome you all to the steps of Congress House for this important demonstration. Uh, events are taking place in major cities across the world to show their support for the Writers Guild of America. This is a dispute about uh, a hugely important principle. The people who work in our arts and entertainment industries enrich our lives enormously. But it's important that the skills, the talent they invest in their work is given fair and just reward. And in a changing world when that isn't just about the first showing of a film on television the first uh, time that somebody reads something that a writer has produced, that those, uh, those products of their talent are being repeated again and again using the new media, that it's vital that people get a fair reward for all the ways in which their work is subsequently produced. It's an important day. Thanks to everybody for coming. Let's make sure that message gets across loud and clear. Right, this is uh, Bernie Corbett, I'm the uh, General Secretary of the Writers Guild of Great Britain. Uh, we are expressing uh, our solidarity with the Writers Guild of America. They are on strike uh, because they need to get proper payments for the millions of times that writers' work will be downloaded on the internet. I am proud to say that in the Writers Guild of Great Britain, we have been negotiating with the television companies and the producers, and we have these deals. We have made these uh, arrangements. We know that our members will be properly rewarded. We think it's absolutely right that, of course, American writers should be properly rewarded as well. And we also know that if the Writers Guild of America were to be defeated, then those ripples would come across the Atlantic Ocean uh, and would start to undermine the agreements that we have made. So we uh, not only have a moral support for what the Writers Guild of America are doing, but we have a self-interest in what the Writers Guild of America are doing as well. I'm here because, uh, as, as an actor, uh, um, we rely on writers more than we rely on anybody, really. Um, and it's, I see it as a kind of thin end of a wedge and it is very important, as, as everyone has said, that this strike succeeds and that new regulations are drawn. Because, but we've always got to keep this thing in check because our capacity for being screwed by new kind of technological advance is immense. Thank you very much. I'm here because as an actor, um, the script is the most important thing that you start from and I don't know a great movie that didn't start with a great script. And I think um, the role of the writer is very fragile. It's not impossible to calculate how many times the film is downloaded. And we must protect their creativity because everything else could be reproduced, but the original creativity of the writer is precious and must be valued above everything else.
the, act, the great actors choose the work through the script, really. It's a good script that attracts great stars, and, you know, the whole thing collapses if you undervalue that original creative point. I think this writer's strike is, uh, um, is a very important strike, not just because of the issues on the table in terms of uh, rollback and uh, DVD and uh, digital royalties, but in terms of the future of how creative artists are paid in the digital world. And I think it's a, a strike that not just applies to writers, but it applies to pure artists, it applies to musicians, it applies to actors and so on, in a world which is increasingly uh, you know, becoming divided.